Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. Racer Rick coming at you. Here we are back on the F122 My Team Career Gameplay. Next race is going to be at the Dutch Grand Prix. Here we are on our admin panel. Uh, we got to look at see what kind of upgrades we can do to our vehicle. Um, I would like to upgrade some facilities, but we're not working with a lot of cash right now. We got two point two and three quarters million, so that's not going to be enough to really do any decent upgrades. Plus, we need to keep some of that money uh, so we can pay our drivers. But anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. I'm dedicating this next race. If anybody watched the uh, NASCAR race in Martinsville, I'm dedicating this to my boy Ross Chastain. Yeah, with the Chastain move on the last lap. Boom. There it is right there. Oh yeah. I've been a Chastain fan for a couple years. Track House Racing is the new team. Daniel Suarez is the other driver, Ross Chastain. He sent it around on the last lap at Martinsville to get into the championship, which they'll be racing at Phoenix next uh, next week or the next race. So dedicating this to my boy Ross Chastain. Like I said, I've been a fan for a couple years. Uh, he's coming into his own. He almost lost his ride a couple years ago in Xfinity. Uh, luckily, Trackhouse saw his talent and knew what they had. So um, that's my man right there. Glad he's uh, glad he's getting his due. But anyways, let's hop into this R and D. See what we can't do. Um, we need to work on some aerodynamics. Looks like our wing mirrors came through. Uh, let's see what we got. We got fourteen hundred seventy upgrade credits we can use. I think we should probably front down force. Yeah, let's work on the front down force. Well, I don't want to use all our credits necessarily. Rear wing upper. Rear down force. Let's go to the streamlined suspension arms. Go ahead and do that. 40% failure rate. All right, so if that comes through, we'll be on the same development level as Haas. So let's go back right here. We don't have enough credits to do anything else. I don't believe. Looks like our roll dampers came in. Pistons came in. MGU. Crew materials. We don't have enough credits to do anything else, I don't believe. We really need to upgrade our facility so we can get... Um, Stuff will get done quicker. Okay, we don't have anything, any you know, of credits to do anything else. So we're just stuck with where we're at. Hopefully our teammate... Um, where's our teammate at? Drivers, nope. Okay, Felipe Drogovic. I mean, his focus is... I don't know why his focus is going down so much. He's still a 6.8 rating. I don't know how he's a 2 million market value. Anyways, we invested in our uh, personnel facility. So, should be increasing his racecraft awareness and his focus. Or slightly improved. Uh, like, see, the upgrades, I mean, they're allowed around like the anywhere from the 2 to $4 million range. I mean, I could go ahead and get an upgrade to one of our facilities, but then I'm out of cash. So, I'm not going to do that. I'm just trying to bank up a little bit of money. Alright, I think that's all we can do. In our admin panel, let's go ahead and hop into this next race at the Dutch Grand Prix. You're not currently in a rivalry. Sooner or later, you'll probably be asked by the media who you consider to be your rival. Think okay. carefully who you select, as while you will receive a claim for beating them, You'll lose a claim if you fail to do so. Is that sent us to pick a rival? I thought Lance Stroll was our rival. Anyways, whatever. Okie doke. Well, let's hop into this Dutch Grand Prix. Okay, let's hop into this race here at Zandvoort. The passionate Dutch fans have been easy to find trackside in races across Europe. Here this weekend, it's even easier to find the Dutch. We have qualified P10. Had a pretty good qualifying lap. For our car, anyways. Carlos Sainz is on the pole. Puts him in pole position. And starting next to them is George Russell. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc. Leclerc, Verstappen. And Sir Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton. Perez. Norris. There's the McLarens. 
There we are, P10. Where's our teammate at? Hope he's not dead last. Okay, there he is in 20th, Drogovich. Okay, so he's not dead last. That's good. But what will stand out for you? My focus is 100% on the front of the grid. Like you said, we're seeing a lot of strong competition across those positions. So it'll be so interesting to see the fight for that front spot. Personally speaking, I'm hoping for plenty of overtakes. There we go, baby. Cool. So we are P10. Kind of want to stay there. Stay in the points. I think we can do it with our car. See what our race strategy is. Pitting on lap eight. It's gonna be eighteen lap race. I think we're going soft to mediums probably. Yep, soft to medium. We're gonna stay with that strategy. All right, cool. Let's hop into this race. Stay in P10 at least. Don't want to fall back any. Decent start there. Coming to the first turn. Always sketchy as hell. Lock up the brakes. Here we go, we're already out of the points. Not making it easy on herself here. Somebody else getting into us. Not sure who that was. One of the Haas, maybe. Man. Alright, so we gotta make up spots already. And here we are with the start. We're over there on the left hand side. Start P10, lights out, not the best reaction time. Got, I think that's uh, Ocon shooting to our inside. Sandwich, I think, on the outside is Gojan Yu. Coming into the first turn, locked up the brakes there a little bit. Ocon was able to squeeze inside of us. Gojan Yu was able to pass us. Feel getting strung out after the first couple turns. And we actually fell back to P12 after the start. The last sector is where I was making up time. In qualifying and practice. Through here. With the slipstream. Ocon is closing off our inside. What else is new? Okay, well, lap one down, back to P12. Running to P12, they're behind Ocon. Lost a bunch of time through that first sector. I just gotta stay with them. So we get to the final sector. It's my only goal, pretty much. If I can do that, I can make those spots up. I can make those two spots up. Pretty confident of that. Especially when we get DRS turned on. See what he's gonna do. He's gonna go to the inside. I'm gonna go to the outside. He's gonna go to the inside again. I got nothing for him. Okay, so DRS is on now. It was Ocon with some pretty good blocks on us. Definitely have a better car than we do. End of lap two. The lap three, the 18 lap race. Pitting on lap eight. Made up a little bit of time there. We're all over Ocon now. We can stay this close to him. Here 
There we go. Round Ocon. That was pretty easy. Up to 11th. Trying to get back in the points. Before we have to pit, get all screwed up by our pit crew. Here's our first pass of the race. Working on Ocon for P11. Coming around with a sweeping right hander. There we go, moving it to the inside on Ocon. He gets out of the way. Sees we have a faster car. We're blowing by him. They move us up to P11. We've got a better acceleration through there, better straight line speed. All over his rear end. Got into him a little bit there. All right, here we go. This is where we get him. Get a little loose there. Come on. Nope, he closed us off. Jeez. All right, we got the inside track on him. DRS. Hope he closes us off. Jeez, dude. So frustrating. He's pretty much just slowing us down at this point. Come on, dude. Quicker through there. Got a better car. Bam. Try not to be overly aggressive. Lost a little bit of time there. So we got to get him. Set him up. There we go. Ooh, got him. Nice. All right, let's keep this going, boys. Here we are called up to Gojan Yu, who's in P10. This is lap five. Coming up to the last turn of sweeping right, sweeping banking right hander. We move it down to the inside of him. Take the inside line. Take the spot away from him. That puts us up into P10. Push on the pit window. All right, we should be able to put a little bit of distance on Guozhan Yu. Once we get through this sector. Okay, gap to the car ahead is 2.2 seconds. Putting a little gap there. Six tenths of a second. This will make up a bunch of time. We're not inside of DRS range or not Alonzo that they're in front of us yet. Try to keep up this momentum. Yep, I'm trying. Nope. Lost time there. One point seven on Fernando. The cars are just better through here. Not a whole lot I can do. There is feeling pretty good.
in a little bit of time there. Nope, lost it back. Still 1.7. Gain a little bit, two tenths. It's just that first sector, it kills me. Oh, I'm trying. Burn these tires down. All right, there we go. Almost down to a second of Fernando. Fernando. Okay. All right, we're boxing. I don't really want to, but that's our plan. Maybe he is too. Yep, he's boxing too, so we'll see what happens here. Boxing halfway through, see if we can get some advantage on this turn in. Optimal turn in. Come on guys, let's go loser people. Yes. Attaboy. Good job, guys. Yep. On the mediums. Let's get out here. Let's get some heat in these tires. Deal with Latifi and these cats. I probably haven't pitted yet. He's going to slow me down. Goat Tifi. All right, careful with these tires, Rick. Goat Tifi's killing me, man. Everybody's stacked up here. a little bit of traction there. All right, good TV. Make quick work of him. Don't wreck me, thank you. Okay, there go some more pitters. Felipe's coming in for his stop now. That's our teammate. We're up to P9 now. Daniel Ricardo up there in front of us. Tires are coming in. Lap 10. See if we could just not fall off too much in this first sector. then maybe we can contend and gain another spot. Ricardo looks like a clear in front of him. I get stacked up up there. Looks like Vettel and Verstappen battling. I had a feeling a couple of these guys are going to pit. Ricardo, Ricardo, no, buddy, whoo, holy cow, dude, damn, that was close, whoo, Ricardo, man, he almost did us in, buddy, here's where we almost wrecked ourselves, or got wrecked by Ricardo on lap 10, we're running P9 behind Ricardo, who's in P8, coming up to that final 
right hand curve. We dive down to the inside. Ricardo wants to take the inside line too. So he kind of closes us off there. We have momentum, can't get slowed down in time. Get into his back wheel. Luckily we had no damage, we were able to stay off the wall, was able to recover. And we maintain the spot, stay in P9. Man, I'd have been so pissed too. I'd have been so mad. All right, come on, let's go guys. These guys are stacked up. We might be able to get up there. Surprise for folks. Come on, y'all. It's just slowing all of us up. I mean, honestly, I just want to get past Ricardo after what he just did. What he just pulled on us. I'm going to get his ass right here to watch. Yeah, get out of here. Ha <laughs> ha! He thought about it. He thought about it. All right, we're up here on the clear now. Woo. After pit stops had cycled through, we were P8 on lap 11. Here we are trailing Ricardo, looking to move up to P7. Coming up to the final sector. Get right up on his rear end. Coming up to the final two turns, the right-handers, and then the banked right-hander. There we go, slipping it into the inside again on Ricardo. Propel on Leclerc. Move up to P5. For P7, sorry. Here goes Ricardo trying to come back to his spot. Man, if we can just stay up with these guys. Take advantage of the DRS zone. Leclerc, see you, bud. All right, now, come on. Let's get up here. We're starting to catch the car in front, but we need to look after the tires. We won't be making another. Man, I do not care about these tires at this point. it up there a little bit. This is fun. I actually battling a little bit. I don't know how with this car. Whew. A little sketchy there. All right, come on. Let's keep it together. We're stabbing a Norris up there in front of us. We're all going to have DRS on each other. So nothing's going to be doing. Pretty much going to stay exact same. By Interval apart. No kidding. What's our teammate at? 20th? Okay. I think I'm just going to kind of bide my time here. I'm happy with P6. 
I don't want to wreck. I've got information on Albon for you. They're retiring from the race. Okay. Don't really care. Do not care about Alex Albon at this point. Get sketchy there. Feel the tires going a little bit. DRS on Max here. We don't have the car to compete with these guys. So pretty much content staying right here. Maybe they'll get in each other. Hopefully they don't slow us too much, down too much. Let Leclerc come back and contend. Watch that sausage curb. All right. I'm going to get aggressive here. Screw it. Max got out of the way. I don't know why. That's not like him at all. He's not going to be happy about us taking that spot away. Here we are getting aggressive old Max, who's running P5. Get up on his rear in the final sector. I pretty much said I was going to bide my time and just hang out right here. But it was obvious that through certain turns we were quicker. So I went ahead and got aggressive. Stuck it on the inside of Max. That right hand bank turn coming up to the start finish. And we take P5 away from Max. I'm going to stay at the slipstream, get all the help I can get. Stay off the sausage curbs. Here we go. In fifth place. Looking pretty good. Coming up with two laps to go. Get aggressive here on Lando. Move it out of the way. All right, well, you know what? We're going for this podium spot. We're catching the car ahead. Well done. Just be aware these tires need to get us to the end of this race. All over Sergio there. Come on. Dude, if we can get this podium, I'll be psyched. The tires must be falling off too. I don't feel anything as far as tires. I mean, the car is just on rails right now. All right. Coming up to my passing spot. Come on. 
Come on, baby. Come on. Let's hold it. He's going to have DRS on us. Come on. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. Let's put some distance. Come on. Seven tenths of a second. And here's the pass on the next last lap for the podium spot. P3, there goes Sergio Perez in front of us. Again, coming up to that final right-handed bank turn. Sergio was a little wide. We sent it into the inside. Got on the throttle. He stayed out of our way. We were able to close it out, make the pass, move up to the final podium spot, take away P3. Come on, baby. Come on. Last turn. First podium. First podium. Ha ha! P3, baby. Well Bam. How in the world did I do that? My goodness. Oh, and we got driver of the day. What do you know? Nice. Oh, boy. I was putting the moves on him. I was putting it on him. We're getting to pop bottles. That's our first podium. Heck yeah. That is our first podium, baby. So let's review the updated driver standings. Nice. Science now leads the drivers championship. Look at that. The result of his great performance today. And fastest lap. Natalie Pinkham, who would you Ooh, yeah. as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Maverick. Look at Oh yeah, they Maverick, baby. Compared to where they started, mm -hmm. it's not easy to cut through a field like that in Formula 1, so it was a great effort. It's time to see how things are shaping Near up possible, in the constructors' baby. championship. All right, what did our teammate do? Teammate moved up a spot. Anyways, whatever. Yeah, that was the first first podium, baby. We'll take that all day long. I don't know how. It'll probably be the best finish we'll have all season. But I'll take it. That is going to conclude the Dutch Grand Prix at Zandvoort. Boom, taking a home our first podium of this series. First season as a new team. First podium as a team and a driver in this career mode. This my team career playthrough. Got the P3. Was able to pass Sergio Perez on the next to last lap in Zandvoort. I don't know how I did it with that car. Um, it's pretty much all downhill from here until we get some more money and upgrade our facilities a little bit more. Get our upgrades completed a little bit quick, more quicker so we can compete with some of the more midfield teams. But anyways, that's going to conclude this video. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. Peace.